Hello everybody, this is Jeanette Vilda. I'm here to share a mini album this time. Um, this is an album I made for um, a friend's wedding, actually. Um, which may seem strange looking at it, but this is for a wedding. They're having their kind of reception party. Um, things are interesting at the zoo. And um, so we are planning on going to the Leipzig Zoo and so I wanted to make a album for them for the wedding, but I thought, oh, let's have fun and go with the zoo theme. So this uses papers from Graphics 45 and Bo Bunny. And the Graphics 45 is really just the patterns and solids of the safari. I'm probably going to get that name wrong, um, mostly because I couldn't get any of the other papers. It was just impossible. Um, the Bow Bunny is Safari and Jungle Life, and I had to get both because, again, I couldn't get all of either of them, so it's kind of hard to get the, um, it's very easy for me to get vintage things here in Germany, but getting new things is, like, really impossible. Not that this is amazingly new paper, but new for me. Um, so anyways, this follows a tutorial by, made by, um, so much scrap, so much scrap. And she's on Etsy. I'll have a link down below. She has some wonderful tutorials. I've gotten several, and I love the way she does stuff, and it's just very easy to follow. So get right into it. The front page, um, my husband made a lot of decisions in this. This is his friend, his very good friend, who's um, getting married. So um, we wanted the front to be kind of opened where they can write, you know, this was our day, blah, 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 you know, the dates, however they wanted to capture um, the info for what will be in the album. Um, simple, didn't do anything to the spine, just use one of the plain patterns in the back. And again, it was, you know, not completely like the tutorial, simply because I just didn't have any of the papers, except for the patterns and solids, the same. Um, none of the ephemera, none of the anything, so I had to come up with everything. So I did have, there's an ephemera pack that goes with the Jungle Life, I believe it is. Um, so I did use quite a bit of those pieces. Um, these flowers are for our Fabrika de Kuru, which is a Ukrainian company, and I absolutely love them. And they have really pretty flowers, so... Ribbon was chosen by my husband. I think he did good. All right, so that page. Um, we have a little book here. And I, um, the ephemera pack that I had, had little rub-ons. So instead of the papers that she had in hers, um, I used parchment paper and then decorated it with the rub-ons. And they came out pretty cool. I think that it goes real nicely with everything. And that's the little book. And there's just kind of plain paper on the back. This is um, just some plain cotton thread that I had. And I didn't decor over decorate simply because I wanted them to be able to put pictures wherever. And since I wasn't the one going to be putting the pictures in, I wanted to make sure they were plenty of room, but I'm going to give them an envelope with all the ephemera so that when they add in their pictures, they can add in more decoration if they want. That flips open like that. And going to the next page, we have two little flaps that open. Again, that overly decorated. If I can get any of this in frame. Lots of magnets. I love this paper. Lots of magnets. Um, with the, I want to say, zoo, zoo paper, the safari, I'm going to mix them all up, so, or the Jungle Life and the Safari by Bo Bunny, I don't remember which, had these wonderful little cards that um, have an animal and then have a little explanation about that animal. And um, our friends have a little boy, and I thought, that's really the only, I didn't really make a lot of tags, like I said, or anything. I wanted to have plenty of room in for them to put anything they wanted and not um, try to go around everything. So I wanted those in there just 
here's some like education. Yes, sweetie, that's my little kitty. <laughs> One of. Okay, next page. Um, I didn't get this in the order that she has it in her tutorial simply because I kind of accidentally put the wrong one in first and then I was just like, <laughs> they don't quite look like what she did. So it didn't feel too bad, but I think it works. So this is actually a little slide. Um, so it opens, where does it open? On the side? Now I don't remember. I think it opens on the side. Uh, one way or the other it opens. <laughs> Unless I glued it shut. Um, some way, there, it gives you the um, ability to slide in a picture. And if I've managed to glue it shut, well, then you can just lay it on there. And then this flips up. And it's just plain green up there. And some nice space for pictures. Um, I did use the two sticker sheets, one from the Jungle Life and the other from the Safari um, Bobani, all throughout. So there's lots of magnets and then lots of these lovely little closures. And that's the Tim Holtz die that I used for the closures. More of those little cards. I, whoop. That's one of the things I love about her, to, you know, her albums is there's just so many places for interactivity and this, um, this one thing I like, so you have a lot of these little guys that close, but in some of the spots, like here, she used a magnet. So this is actually held, you can see it, it snaps into place. I love that because it really ensures that it doesn't start, you know, if this, for instance, was to get um, loose, you know, through many times being spun around, it will still hold in place since it is pointing up. Um, so I really like that. So in certain places where, it, where if it was really going to hold something um, together, she has you put magnets in and it really works. So I'm going to use that in the future. And these flip up. And this one's just plain. And then down here, one of those lovely ephemera pieces. It's um, they're like brooches metal brooches with beautiful little images another one of the little cards plenty of lots like i said lots and lots of places for yeah, for pictures next page let's go to the zoo and this is a uh, another one that and like i said that i think like that because there's so much here and you know that it really holds it into place. So that's a really great idea from her. Another little card. Down. I love these papers. They end up looking really pretty. I love that that kind of looks like a, like a map almost. And I love maps, so. <laughs> Snap. Um, this one was a little tricky. Um, there were no actual ephemera cards with either of these sets. And in this little area, she used one of the Graphic 45 ephemera cards. And instead, what I had was one of the 12 by 12 sheets had cut out, you know, cuttable pieces that um, I ended up using, but it's pretty thin. So really had, you know, we kept um, I kept having my husband pull it in <laughs> to make sure that it was easy to pull in and out. And so I kept having to make it skinnier and skinnier and skinnier until it really fit in so that it would slide in and out. And I'm really afraid. I might tell them, look, just write on it. Don't put a picture. <laughs> it's flimsy. So uh, probably could have done that better. But um, So tip, if you're going to have something like this, in um, your book before you glue this down put that paper on it first if you think it's a paper that's going to have a picture on it eventually then put two layers put that down and then glue your paper over it um, i usually do that and i didn't in this instance um, and i'm paying for it because what that does is it when the glue settles 
it will have made molded to have plenty of room for that item. Um, I often do that when I do envelopes, put the card in first, um, however, especially if it's going to be really bulky, then seal the envelope, then I can pull the card back up and do whatever I want to the envelope. Now the envelope, when it's not in there, might be a little puffy, but it means you know your card's going to fit in. So um, regret not doing that because it is rather hard to get in and out, and I think if she adds any pictures to it, eh. So this flips up. Another magnet, and then out. Very cute. Next page, Petting Zoo. And this is another one of the, like I said, that ephemera kit had some beautiful, these are brads. Um, well, some of them are brads, and some of them are just like brooches. Like I said, I had to glue them onto the page. I believe this one was one of the brads. And again, that's held with a magnet. And then another little closure. It opens up. Another little one. And that opens out. Beautiful paper. These are the Graphic 45. The one that has these like advertisements. Um, the little words with the animals and then all the pages that are just plain like what I used on the closure here. Everything else is either the Bow Bunny um, Jungle Life or Safari. And this is um, from the, like I said, there was a 12 by 12 sheet where you could cut out pieces and um, I happened, I had two of those, so I had cut out one and then did what I like to do, which is dimensioned it up. It, I like it because it just re-emphasizes, um, brings out the image in the middle a little bit better. A little deeper card. And then this opens like this. And then the whole thing opens like this. The sticker sheet had these great little tickets, which I think I might use for other things later. And, and the ephemera pack had these great little cutouts of animals. Unfortunately, most of them were too big for this book. So, um, like I said, I'll put that into their little envelope I'm giving them um, so they can either cut off the legs <laughs> and, put it on, and or use it for something else. But. Yeah, I, they were gorgeous, but I just couldn't use all of them because they were just not the right size. Next page. And this is another one. This one, I think, actually, oh, yay. Um, slide in your picture. And this one I tested many times <laughs> before gluing. I think maybe I didn't test the other one enough. Um, and I realized I put the little dolphin down there because to make this frame, you had to cut out the inside and the dolphin was actually, you know, on that card. And it kind of looks like he's escaped the aquarium and is running away. So that's my little escaping dolphin. It goes up and it's just plain up here. A little closure. And plain. So many wonderful places to put. And like I said, the um, party is at the Leapsara Zoo. So I found an old vintage poster online. Um, and it actually looks so much better on the <laughs> It's one time when things look better on my monitor than they do in real life. The color is just a little off, but there wasn't uh, much I could do about it. And when I had to blow it up to the sides, it got a little fuzzy, but I think it works. I wanted to capture where they had the party. And that opens up. And then opens up again. And then on this side, these were two stickers turned into little tags. And then that opens and opens out. So that is the last page, end of the album. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely go check out her Etsy shop. Her tutorials are, like I said, really easy to follow. I'm actually making another one using another one of her um, tutorials. Yet again, I don't have the paper, but um, I love how she makes the 
um, albums. I learned so much making, um, following her tutorials. So definitely go give her some, some love. So I hope you like, leave, um, like, and subscribe and leave me some comments and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.